Warning. Some topics or situations in this program may not be suitable for some audience. Everything you see and hear is done on the safety of our own disclosed set under legal circumstance. Also, Speed Pigeon does not support the use of drugs, alcohol, or violence, especially for our underage audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Too many wires. Hell? Not enough space. Watch your feet, watch your feet, watch your feet, watch my feet. Yeah, you but you're good You You want me to watch my feet? Damn. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn, damn. Are we too far away? Is that bright enough? I think it's good. It's do you, cozy. Do, do you not think it's bright enough? I don't know. Not as usual, but we're usually closer as well. I, I, I think, think it's though, cozy. I think with the background, though, our new it's background, nice. it's cozy. Yeah. It's yeah. probably the background, actually. It might, the brightness might be fine, it's but just you a know little what? darker. It's dark, but it's like she said, it's cozy. It's like, it's kind of like a warm, welcoming vibe, you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Come in my basement. It's big wall. We have eucalyptus and a white door. <laughs> <laughs> To another episode of Speedcast. I'm your host Charlie, and as always, I'm joined by Kevin Funk Healer. And today oh, we God. have some special guests. Again, we have my wonderful girlfriend, Julianne Yang. And what? Julianne Yang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Fuck you. Get off the show. Um, <laughs> it's like it's Julianne Yang now. Later, when we get involved with the juicy details, our producer Natasha will be on here. I got all the tea. What? What? I got all the tea. She got all the tea? I need an L I G H T E. Because I prefer coffee over tea. Unless Perfect. it's iced tea. Pity I full? like tea. Oh, whoops, that's nice for tea. <laughs> what? No, nothing. Keep going. Kevin still on yesterday's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed, something is different. Something is different. What is different? I don't know. What do you think it might be? We it's might definitely have not our things. quote because we didn't have time to change yeah, it. Yeah, totally the same one. Uh, but like, we could have just talked about this like two seconds ago. Mm. Oh, we got a new background, everybody. Oh, you have more than just a new background. You have a whole new apartment. Well, yeah, we did move. <laughs> we'll talk about that. In a Jokes second. on you, anybody who thought you found our location. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why every single time I show, like, my, like, address and stuff in, like, my films and movies, people are like, oh, you showed your address. Yeah. I don't care. I'm at least now, at this point, we, right can, we can look out the window and go, <laughs> I've lived in almost, fucking like, idiots. I've lived in almost, like, every building in this fucking apartment complex, so no matter what fucking address I have in, like, a video, it's not the one you still it's have. It's not the one that I live at. So, mm -hmm. I mean, again, none of the addresses from Loser. Mystery man. Nobody lives in those houses anymore. Well, somebody lives in one. That's about it. Nobody we know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we moved. It looks nice now. Um, a little bit organized. A little bit more. For today. You know what I mean? It doesn't look gross. I wasn't feeling the last background. I don't know. I feel like things were too mismatched and on mm -hmm. the white and everything. It just wasn't. It wasn't going. You know what I mean? This is really nice. Um, yeah. Solid. Yeah, but uh, like a brick. <laughs> Try the letter now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there goes. So yeah, um, we're filming this at like what? What time is it? Almost ten o'clock. Um, Eastern time. Because I spent all day moving all of this to here with some help from Kevin. Thank you. Of course. But I knew that I was moving a couch. Yeah. And y'all see. Y'all see. <laughs> <laughs> I did the entire wall, so that's 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 good. We did do the couch. I did trick you into the table. And the bed. The table and the bed. We did a good job at the couch, so. There we did. We did. We finessed it. We took a, a, a that thing like Did you put the feet back on? Yeah. Word. Does it feel any different? 
can't say so, but you know what? I wouldn't be able to tell. Hey, ready? I can put my hand on their couch. Stop! My hand's not that long. I mean, I know people make fun of how big my fingers are, but I definitely can't reach you from there. <clears throat> Besides, wrong Anthony. I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that took you a second. He doesn't even know. Oh, he knows. We make fun of him all the time. So does his stuffed animal. That's not, not, he wasn't not involved in that. <laughs> but he knows what that is. Does he? Does he know that story? He's the person who told all of us. Oh. He, told everybody. <laughs> he came to all of us. He was like, individually too. Like me and Gene. He was like, we got to keep this a secret, man. <laughs> Nobody kept this secret, dude. There's no secrets in our friend group. Are you kidding me? We're the worst people in the friend group no. to keep secrets from. People involved don't know. Then you know. Well, the people involved don't know because that's not fun. You know what I mean? I was going to say, why is my drink crushed? But... I put it in the way and I dropped mm -hmm. it. No, I put it on the table, then you moved it, then you knocked it down. I put it on the table and he spilled it. This is all that's left. He spilled the whole thing. They can't hear you when the mic's off. <laughs> you were dead on silent as fuck. <laughs> that was funny. That was perfect. Fun. People are going to be listening in and not watching the video. Like, Where the fuck did the audio go? Right? Yeah, right? Crazy? What just happened? I'm fucking crazy right now. Yeah, so, uh, that was an eventful day, and, uh, Literally, fuck. Fuck this day. It was going fuck good. Fuck this whole week, So I had to move. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will say fuck this whole week. Since Sunday night. Is that my story? Are you still telling your story? Oh, no, my story's done. I moved. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> Here's my story. Here's how the week has been going for me. Um, on Thursday night, I started Le Mixel. Sunday, after work, I'm brushing my teeth and I'm like, oh my god, my tongue is red and bumpy, what the fuck? So then I go downstairs and I show my mom and she was like, we need to go to the ER. <coughs> it could be Stevens Johnson's, which for those of you who don't know, is something that you can get from, um, is he gay? <laughs> no, he's blind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> for those well, of you no, guys... it's Stevie Johnson, right? <laughs> no. Oh. Stevie <laughs> Johnson is the that makes you a gay blind pianist. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, don't look it up. The pictures are really, really gross. Um, it, it can be from a medication, like some psychiatric meds, or it can be from a bacterial infection. But basically what happens is you get a bunch of sores and blisters and rashes and they typically start in your mouth, um, in your nose, around your eyes, in your throat. Then they spread to your whole body really quickly, then they blister, then your skin peels off and your organs fail and you might die. So basically ID who you kiss on Valentine's Day, everybody. <laughs> it's, not, it's not spread like that. but. Um, <laughs> So, you know, a rash on my tongue right after I start taking Lamictal, kind of fucking worrying. So we go to the ER. Can you stop? My eyes are white. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I go to the hospital, and <laughs> they, like, take me in, and they do all my blood stuff, and they take my blood, and they give me an IV. They asked me a million thousand bajillion questions. You do like, heroin? They were like, well, that's our heroin. <laughs> still very, very early. Um, if it is Steven Johnson's. So like, we really can't tell, but here are some steroids and antibiotics and like pain medicine. And then I sat there for a few hours and I was fine, I guess. It didn't get any worse. And then, so they were like, well, if it is, it's super early and hopefully it stops here. If it gets worse, come back tomorrow, here's steroids to take for the week. Hopefully chill out what's going on. So then the next morning I wake up and my tongue is a little less red and it's a little bit better. And their reactions, they, I don't have a picture of the first night, 
but my little bit better picture is like still really graphic and gross. Wait, um, where's mine? I gave you mine. You never gave it back. Yeah, you didn't give me a light. Yes, I did outside when we were smoking. In his light. pocket. Where it always is. Oof, that's a cool lady. Yeah, give it. <laughs> give it here, motherfucker. Yours. Give it here. I gave you my Dracula lighter. Yeah, but that's a Cobra Kai. Or no, I gave you the Goosebumps one. Yeah. Um. ADHD moment. Don't mistake it. Everybody switch to lighters. Anyway. <laughs> um. Yes, the, the second day picture was like way better in my opinion, but they didn't see the first day, so they thought that the second day, the morning, was like really bad. Um, but it was a little bit better. Then throughout the day, it started to get more irritated because I was eating. And by like, I don't know, probably like six or seven at night, my like chest, neck, and face <coughs> started to get like red and splotchy. And it wasn't going away. Like I. I had like 12 fucking shorts on in my room and I had like a tank top and shorts on and I was putting aloe on my skin and it wasn't calming my skin down and then so I told my mom and we went back to the ER because it's getting worse who handed and it to me like this? Kevin <laughs> <laughs> I've been the only one handing it to I almost put it in my mouth like this oh that's I mean that's what's going on <laughs> and I had taken my temperature early in the morning because they told me that if, it, if I get a fever, obviously to come back. And so in the morning it was 98.3. And then before, can you stop? Before we went to the hospital, it was 98.9. And then when we got to the hospital, it was 99.8. Um, so. And when we get to the hospital, like, I had to sit and wait for a little bit. They didn't take me back. They were really, really busy, um, even though I could have died. But they didn't take me back because they were really busy. And I sat out there for, like, over an hour. And during this period of sitting out there for over an hour, <coughs> my lips start to swell up. They get really red. My eyes start to swell up. They get itchy. My skin gets patchier. I'm getting warmer as time goes on. And they finally took me back. And then I sat for another two hours. And then somebody finally came in and looked at my skin, looked at all of that, looked at my blood work from the day before, and they were like, I don't think this is Steven Johnson's. I just think it's a regular allergic reaction. You are not a gay deaf piano. No. <laughs> I'm not a piano, you're right. Um, but then they were like, well, uh, we don't think it is, but there's like not really a test. Um, I still have all my skin, I have my organs. So hopefully it's not, but I was only on the medication for three days, and at this point it's like most of the way out of my system. Which sucks because that was like the best medication. I know it was working. <laughs> yeah. For my mood, it of was course, working. Of course, it the was worst working, part. and it was making her happy, and it killed her almost. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Joy is not good, Patrick. Now, because of the steroids that I've been on, I've been on these steroids in different medications before. Like I've been on and off since like. 13 been on steroids for my lungs and my skin so Luckily the only side effect I'm getting from these is that I have a fucking headache and I'm a little nauseous But now I start a new medication tomorrow Hopefully I'm not allergic to this one because I'm allergic to every single psych med that I have been put on Swag. This is five Number five that I've been allergic to Alright, let's hear. You guys have the most yeah, story. Alright, so this dumb bitch wants to meet Jesus, right? No real names. <laughs> no real names. No real names. Yes. Okay. So, the person that started it all, right? Tasha I'm not squeezing on that fucking No, couch. I was saying sit up here. Um, okay, so the person that started it all, what did, what did, uh, what did, what did Sissy, uh, tell us to call her? Thotterella Th Cinderella, right? Yes. Alright, yes, so, Thotterella Cinderella. Cinderella started the drama. She don't fit either way. No. No, it doesn't. Um, and she got... What was it? Horse face gun girl involved. These are her code names, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'll show you a picture later so you understand. Okay. So, my sissy, being the nice person that she is, right? She sees something wrong on Thotterella Cinderella's Instagram story. So she swipes up as a concerned friend, right, right, right. And this bitch 
is going to send Horse Face Gun Girl into her DMs to threaten her. Telling her she's all in her business and yada yada yada. Because, hey, this thing might be wrong. Yeah. You so, good? Okay. Draw a little bit. When it comes to my sissy, okay, she birthed me two beautiful god babies. So, by default, she's not allowed to fight anybody anymore. So I do it for her. And she also, uh, like, just gave birth. Yeah, like, like very literally just gave birth like a month ago. ago. So, <laughs> so, I take it upon myself. To message horse face gun girl. Now I said I said some pretty nasty things, right? So we're not gonna go word for word about how bad it was. Why not? Because it was a lot. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even want to repeat to my mother half of the things that I said. Okay. You so, can repeat to us off camera. Yeah, yeah. So I basically said, I said you want to threaten my sister, so threaten me. What's up? I said, you're concerned about your friend who clearly ain't shit if she's got to send people to fight her battles. I said, I'm sick and tired of you guys starting problems for no damn reason. So start a problem with me. Oh, so because this was two months, months ago. Okay. What was it? Thotterella Cinderella got horse face gun girl to try and convince Sissy that my brother that my brother was cheating on her. And that was a whole big problem, and she didn't want to do anything with involving me then either. So I got fed up. So I messaged her, and I said that. So uh, she said, tell your sister to quit sending people my way before I actually drag her shit. First of all, I'm the only person that messaged this bitch outside of my brother. But mm -hmm. at that point, that's his wife. That's his right to defend her. Right? Yeah. So uh, I, said, I said, you're mad because your friend can't stick up for herself? You gotta have people start shit for her. I'm leaving out the bad words, okay? Um, she said, last, last time my name sounded so good in her mouth. I let that shit go, so what's up? And I said, I said, I said some nasty things. I said, you're all talk over the phone. I said, but you're probably gonna call the cops when somebody comes to put you in your place. Horse face gun girl, hence the nickname, mm -hmm. then decides to say, Cat, cause you can pull up and we can get shit started. Nobody's calling cops, mommy. Fuck around and get shot. <laughs> so I said- So I mean, if you really wanted to, then you could just take that to the police and get exactly. arrested. Bro. But I don't like to call the cops either. I, I, know, like I know you don't like to call the cops, oh, yeah. So I said- I'm just saying. I was like, you fucked with the wrong you one. I said, you're all talking right no there. bite per usual. I said, and touche bitch. I was like, you think you're the only one in the world that has one? I said, you're hiding behind a phone and weapons like a pussy ass bitch. So she goes, whenever she wants to throw hands, let me know. I'm the one <laughs> yeah, that's right. sitting there telling you like, well, like, what are we doing? And yeah. you, when she wants, no. No, this isn't when the lady who just gave birth a month ago wants to Exactly. Hands. This is the so, is right now. I said, your friend would have did something already if she was about it. I said, but you want to talk about sending people to fight for others? Then I called her. I called her very backward. I felt so good to say it. Was it shot? Um, <laughs> <laughs> was it I don't care. I love that word. She's like, I've been had a problem with your sister. I was like, you clearly ain't done shit about it. So you're all talk, like I said. And then she just kept going on and on and on. So she told me. Drop the Hattie, what's good? And then blocked me. <laughs> then blocked me. Right? Now, freedom. wanted to say she wasn't gonna go to the cops, but then proceeded to text Sissy and say, I have shit, which she does not because my brother is a good cookie. She said, I have shit that could get us all locked up for good. So, I told you so I wasn't you going to the cops. You said you weren't going to go to the cops, but now you're going to go to the little yeah, piggies. Also, why are you going to include yourself in getting locked up? What? Yeah. I also <laughs> may have. Why um, are you going to be like, I'm going to get you in trouble? But I think I told you her to shut the fuck up and go suck a dick and add another baby daddy to her roster. Okay. And I also you said, at this point, I kind of understand why your baby daddy smacked you the fuck up. Which I kind of feel bad about, but at the same time, I really don't. Because nah. she's really fucking dumb, and I understand why you just smacked the fuck out of her. Mm. Yeah, and then nothing happened because the good old piggies pulled my brother over, and we had to go save him, and he was more important than bashing somebody's See, teeth in. that's the thing. Just because you shouldn't hit a woman doesn't mean they don't deserve to get rocked, dude. <laughs> That's not what he meant. 
I'm not telling you to hit anybody. I'm not condoning that at all. I would never hit anybody. I'm just saying. What I'm saying is it may be wrong, but it's not. Just as much as fucking dudes. There are some people in the world that absolutely fucking deserve it. Everybody needs to get fucking rocked, bro. At one point in your life, you need to get beat the fuck up at some point. Yeah. Everybody. Every single person. I literally just told my siblings this before I left the house. Life has become social media overcome. It's like people, warriors, people like shit and comment on shit so much, so often that's that they the think problem. it's okay to do that in public. The, Bitch, yeah, I'll put your problem. fucking teeth out. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem with the keyboard warriors is that they're so used to saying so things without exactly, consequence. Dude. Keep that, that shit behind the fucking shit in real life. So when but it then actually when comes you find to out that, that I am literally on my way, out, dude. you want to block me. Yo, it's yeah, and then you time. flip sides. It's you want to block, like you think blocking people on the computer blocks them from your life. Yeah. I know where the fuck you, you live. You want to block me like you <laughs> don't live down the street from my brother. I can see you hitting that block button through the window. <laughs> fuck out of here. Weird as shit. That's like that's what a weird fucking game. game. And this isn't, this isn't, this isn't us bullying. This is karma for threatening two innocent little babies. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know if you okay. said that out loud, but she did threaten your brother, his wife, and the two babies. Yes. So whatever she has coming for her, she fucking deserves. Yeah. Had to throw that out there because you know we live in cancel culture. Don't threaten to shoot babies and maybe you won't get threatened to get your shit rocked. Yeah, right. By any Hot gender. Take. It doesn't matter. Hot that fucking point. take, you guys. <laughs> Shitty person. Don't shoot babies. You don't get you. As a matter of fact, if you are a female that has their own child and talk shit on somebody else's child or whatever and that's a child that's related to them you deserve to get beat the fuck up I feel like people who just talk <laughs> shit about children in general should just get beat the fuck right. up like why are you beefing with a fucking kid? why the fuck are you beefing with why are you beefing with a kid that literally can't even tell you he shit his pants yet that's yeah, yeah dude, that's another thing so like, so and it's not, even, it's not even like it's a toddler like in school like this kid literally like can't, can't shit, shit in a toilet bowl. You can't yet. even shit. crawl yet. The one baby can't fucking crawl yet. It's a baby. Like a one month old baby. Right, you can't even say they have teeth yet. They have tooth. Yeah, so both baby. of them together have Max. tooth. <laughs> Maximum <laughs> together, like, they have one the collective fuck is your tooth. One collective tooth together. Right. Wow. And like, not for nothing, my nephew's a little badass. My nephew would fuck somebody up. Right. That little boy say, accidentally right. fucking hit me with a right hook the weekend that we were watching him, and that shit, that shit hit me Unless good. your brother's got him by the back of the fucking harness in the little <laughs> stroller, then he's, then yeah. he's fucked. We that were all getting our so nails done, funny. Oh my and God. Gabby was sitting next to me at the, like, the empty nails, like, nail text desk, and our the whole time was just trying to get like out of the car seat and Kev just fucking grabbed the back of the car seat like the strings and just held him back and he was just Was that like <laughs> was that like oh you want me to censor yes. pause or like you at least that at least baby baby's name. name. Yeah. Okay. I didn't I figured, didn't think. I, figured, I didn't even realize. <laughs> yeah. I seen she paused and I was like, I feel like As soon as it was like halfway out of my mouth I was like fuck. Yeah. That type of pause. <laughs> Yeah, we gave everybody else nicknames who can't be just yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> like my brother doesn't count. You can you can leave my brother's name, but yeah. Well, he was already on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, he was already on the podcast. Just protect baby at all costs. Protect, protect baby. baby. Uh, protect babies. Protect the babies. So yeah, it's um. It's I checked a, it earlier. It's been a week. It's the last quarter, last quarter moon phase. I've come to the realization ever since I put this moon phases thing on my phone that it's not just full moon we go crazy. It's literally every single one. It's just us. We're just crazy. <laughs> Can you believe? That's really what it is. I mean, we're two out of the four really people really in this bedroom, bedroom right now are fucking bipolar. And That's it's true. Wild. That's really crazy. And aren't two of you Leos as well? Two bipolar people, two Leos, a Gemini. Kev, what are you? Taurus or Gemini. His rising. Taurus, Gemini, Gemini. Moon. Yeah. And then mine we is Leo, the Leo, Virgo. We are the problem. Are the problem. Mine's problem. Gemini, Virgo, Gemini. Oh. We are the problem. <laughs> I'm the problem, guys. Let's yeah. be real. What the fuck was that? Somebody outside? That was somebody outside. That was it sounded like what? it. 
dog. Yeah, no, that's a dog. A dog. Oh. Maybe he saw that big ass fucking floor. mysterious animal we saw by the nurse's door. Yo, that what? Was yeah, that bitch was like the size of Castiel. I swear to God, it took up like a whole window panel. No, it was like a like a cracked out steroided like raccoon or some shit because it was like hunched over. But that shit, you know, like the metal like or the metal the bottom window, like how like you know how big that window is. It was like the size of that fucking window. Like the window on the door? Yeah, like the bottom one. But, uh, the <laughs> nurse's shit. door. Yeah, That's that a shit big, big fuck, really? Uh, yeah. Did somebody punch you? I feel like I've asked you this already. No, he shaved while he was angry too. Oh, I shaved really fast. Really? Is it that fucking bad? Everybody's asking me what the fuck It looks like face. a well. Like, it looks Dude. like you got hit. Jesus I don't know Christ. if you can really see it on camera, but, like, it looks like. Sorry, I can't. My brother hear. did the same thing. I was in the middle of. Or Matt was in the middle of talking to me. And <laughs> Joey was like. What happened to your face? And I was listening and I was like, wait, pause. What the fuck did you just say? What's wrong with my face? <laughs> what is it? What does it look like? Well, Leave it to a brother not to be like, hey, did you get punched? Just like, what is wrong? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Just a red splotch. It looks like somebody just like... Oh, that I can see. Yeah, it might just be razor burn. Why can I never find a good one? What up? Cookie. Uh, Tasha was playing a game, by the way, if anybody heard that in the background. Not oh, in yeah. life. Yeah. She's playing yeah. Apex. I'm playing Apex because they're taking it away from us, so I have to play as much as possible. She did not mean I'm not out in the background she said, Why this. can I never find a gun when I need one? And I said I figured I might clarify that she's playing Apex right now and not looking for a real life gun. Especially after the story I just told. That's why I said it. <laughs> yeah. You guys sound like you can that out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm never Gonna go for my gun license, I don't think. I, don't, I can't. I don't need one. Really? I'm bipolar. Yeah. I really no, don't need I know one. you, but like. I don't fucking need one. Really? Yeah, because I'll use you it. You should have seen how to. fucking ready he I was think. today. He does not need a gun. No, see, the only way I would use a gun is if somebody was in like immediate danger or like breaking into my house. When I tell you. This man was up and fully dressed before I could even make it off of the fucking mattress to get dressed today. He does not need a gun. The person would be shot before I even made it out of the house. He's just unhinged. He doesn't need any assistance. Mm. <laughs> and if I have that any makes guns, sense. <laughs> and if I have any guns, you're not gonna know where they are. Just like your hidden katanas and stupid machetes and shit. Yeah, but I'm hiding them from you. Okay. You act like I wasn't raised in a house that had <laughs> guns in it anyway. Yeah. I feel My like brother I feel has this hunting license. Like, and if I had a gun, I feel like I'd be one of those friends that got like a little drunk on July 4th and the second. Me? Everybody was doing the fireworks. Me? <laughs> yeah. I feel like you'd be written. Like I, I said. I've shot a gun before. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay. Before I was diagnosed with everything. I was going to say, I, you seem like I got the Golden Bullet Award at Cub Scout Camp when I went with my brother. Okay. Ten bullseyes, guys. You seem like <laughs> you're good around guns, not worth one. Don't piss her off. No, I'm good with yeah. one. I got the golden bullet. Did you not just fucking hear me? That's ten bullseyes. I heard you. Yeah. Ten bullseyes, bro. That's not get bullet. It was a Nerf bullet spray painted gold. It was nothing special. That's pretty special. It's ten fucking bullseyes, bro. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Hell yeah. I think so. Consecutive? Sick. So. Don't or it was within the same day. No, I think it was in the same day. No, I think it was, I think it was in the same day. <clears throat> that's insane. Either way, that's ten bodies same day. <laughs> Can you stop with the stupid face? <laughs> looks like, uh, uh, look like a demon. I love it. <laughs> it's like my new favorite thing. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe Kyle can take me to the shooting range one day. Yeah. Because I don't know if he's still a member at the archery range, but they also have like shooting sports I there. I had Yo, I was enough he property to blow shit up. That's why I kind of love. I want to blow yeah. shit up. I was just talking about rage room before. We rage should. Room. If you got a property, you can blow rage shit up. Rage room's cool. We yeah. should do a rage room, guys. I feel like rage that's a very fitting event for us. 
I love that. I feel like that's a very. When I had my own spot, I used to get really. I mean, it doesn't really sound the greatest now, but I used to get really, really drunk, and I had a big BB gun. And I had a fuck ton of baby pellets. You just and I just paper. shot random shit in my house. Like, if I had, like, empty two liters, I shot it down. If I mm -hmm. had empty fucking, like, alcohol bottles, I shot them down. It was fun. And then I saved every bottle of Captain Morgan I ever drank, which was, it, it was a lot. And one of, like, the last days that I was there, me and, <clears throat> me and our friend Guy, we took all of them and completely smashed them in the garage. And it was, like, one of the best fucking feelings. Hear me out. We all come together, put money aside, buy a plot of land, and call it Rage Fields. And you can set up bombs and explosives and shit. And you obviously have like the people far away, but they just need to press a button and like it can blow up certain shit. But there they get to pick what they want to blow up. There should be that, but there should also be like other parts of the property where you can just destroy shit however the fuck you want. Yeah. You know? Like a farm type shit. Yeah, you're not a farm, you don't want to do that to the animals. No, not animals. I'm not even saying like, near animals, you don't want to do it. But I'm saying no, like, I know what you're a farm saying. and not have animals on it. Yeah. yeah. You also don't want the debris and stuff like growing in plants. And then you eating some vegetables and shit. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't really think you want like... Saying, like, I know. Like right. We can keep all the animals in a giant electric playpen. No! <laughs> no! Absolutely not! You'll put kids in there, but you fuck won't put animals the kids, in there. Dude. Don't fuck the kids, but like, fuck the kids. <laughs> but fuck them kids. But fuck them kids. Like, are you kidding me? Are you like insane? Yes. Did we not just talk about how we, like, we the believe four of us are like, like unhinged? Yeah. And I like that unhinged. Better. Unhinged. We're pretty unhinged. I would say we're pretty unhinged. Because you don't have anything like. You look like somebody who would tell me about the TV. Wrong <laughs> with you. You I just. Mean, you probably do, but nothing official. Try to your own. <laughs> That's true, you do have Tourette's. <laughs> forgot about that. Sometimes I forget about that. That makes a lot more sense. Huh. It does. <laughs> yeah. So suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's fucked up? People aren't even like that and I. They'd be like, oh, oh, okay. That Bro, makes do you know how sense. often I can use that? Yeah. But I'm like mentally stable enough yeah. to like... Be fine. <laughs> but I couldn't do that anytime I, mean, I, I wanted to. I don't know if I'd call it fine. I'd call it bit. functioning. <laughs> yeah. Don't know if I'd call it fine. Look, it's though. not half as bad as it used to be. <laughs> I'm fine as fuck compared to what the fuck it used to be. Yeah, and people won't care. They'll just like. So like oh my god! It's like that episode of Family Guy. Yeah. Just doing a bunch of dumb shit. Sorry, I have Tourette's. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> Do you need help, Pooh? Yeah, then they'll treat you like you're a child and you can't put your pants <laughs> yeah, on right. for some reason. It's like, dude, I like curse sometimes. <laughs> Chill. I have ticks. Calm down. I can put my pants on. You're right, I have some ticks. My some ticks do have me. Oh, you have some ticks? <laughs> huh. You shouldn't go in the woods, buddy. You shouldn't go in the woods, man. You Stay away like, from the woods. Put layers on so you don't get like ticks. Like lines in your disease. Lemons are good I want lemons. <sighs> I used to drink straight lime and lemon juice, like the cooking shit. They're insane. Ew, like the ones that were shaped like. <laughs> Maybe I take that back. Maybe Kevin is ready? clinically ready? insane. Ready? Shh, like shh, 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 shh. You know those big green bottles for cooking? Yes. I didn't only sip it out of the green bottles. I would get a cup of ice. And I would fill it and drink it. You sick fuck. I think I take I back whatever think I said. It was like lemonade and I lemonade. Think that you're you disgusting said. asshole. Do you still have taste buds? Yeah. No Surprise way. Enough, There's no way you still have taste buds after swallowing that much fucking Guys, lemon juice. Guys, how fucked up do you think my taste buds <laughs> are going to be after this? Pretty fucking often. 
You're like the people who literally eat like fucking ten pounds of sour Skittles and wonder why their tongue looks he loves like hers. sour Skittles. That's why, because he has no taste buds. It doesn't fucking too. matter. Yeah, dude, his taste buns are fucking burned to shreds. I call them taste buns. I know. Taste buns. <laughs> How do you think mine are going to be after this whole incident? That's all I'm saying, dude. That's what you're doing. They're torn to like. breads. <laughs> that's probably what Kevin's thumb looks like right now. That's like probably why he didn't cases? see no. it as bad as um, That's problem. probably why my fucking <laughs> stomach hurts a lot. That, that, that might be it. Oh, that, that, that might be it. Yeah, yeah. I might have just saw that guy. Wow. Holy shit. Very well I did that shit really had like a fucking epiphany. Yeah, dude. That's the second one I've had in wow. like two days. So what was the first epiphany? <laughs> I forgot his second one already. Alright, so this one's a little dark. Ready? So her uncle made me realize something the other day. Ever since I'm young, in the middle of the night, not every single night, but like once in a blue moon, I will get really bad anxiety to where I feel like I'm going to die. So like, I don't want to go to sleep because I feel like I'm missing out on like, uh, per se, my last moments, right? So I just stay awake until I decide like, fuck it, I'm just going to sleep. <clears throat> I told her uncle that, and he said, oh, well, something happened to you when you were younger that you can't remember. And I said, no shit, you just said that, because my cousin, he ended up down the line being a child molester, but he um, was holding me, all I remember was he was holding me out of my two-story window. Did he touch you? I don't remember. That's, that's the part. I don't know. So I remember being held out of my, my bedroom window. I was upstairs, so it was two stories up, and he was like planning to let me go. Like, I think he was trying to kill me. Like Michael Jackson? I don't know, dude. But he had me by the ankles. I was like halfway out. He's Michael Jackson. And I remember just getting that, ripped that, back that in the window. Be, that would be it. I turned around and it was my dad ripping me back in the window, and he was just beating the shit out of my cousin. He threw him down the staircase, and that was the last I ever seen or heard of him. Are you sure you're... you're Bro, I don't remember how we got upstairs. I just, like, my brain clicks to being held out of the window. So, that's the other epiphany I had. Held out a window? Holy fuck. Yeah, I remember that part, which is weird. I, I remember the whole other thing. Honestly, well, at that the, part, that's scarier than being touched. Well, the thing is, your <laughs> brain... I'd say so, but my brain decided to block out <laughs> whatever the fuck brain, else. Your brain will block out things when it thinks that you can't handle it emotionally, and so I guess your brain thought that you could emotionally handle being held out of the window, or it was something that you got reminded now, of later in life. Also, I <coughs> I have, like, blackouts, I guess, like, memory-wise, that I literally just don't remember, like, throughout anything. Like, growing up, there's things that I can't tell you. Of my childhood. Like, I don't remember... A good chunk of like I don't remember, 14 to like 16. I don't remember most of my life before. So I think it might just be high school. normal, but I don't a, remember how I got upset. A chunk of that is normal. Like, you're not always going to remember everything, but I yeah. don't remember a good part of I'm 98% of my childhood. Um, I only know stories I've been told. Same. Right. And like, I don't luckily, even have pictures. my mom <clears throat> kept a record of a lot of the like, the bullying trauma that. Or things that I don't remember, but not all of it. And like sometimes I'm like, what if worse stuff happened that I just don't remember? Right. And I never will. I'm Hopefully. sure. I'm Hopefully sure. Not. I like, hope that I don't remember. I'm sure for me it was like partially related to something like that because I like before that I remember he also was sitting at the computer desk and asked me if I wanted to see something cool. And I was like five years old and I was like, yeah, sure. And he like opened up his pants and showed me his pubic hair. And I was like, that's fucking disgusting. Like, what? So then, what? yes, the answer is. I was like, that's is gross. I said, I was like, that's gross. Like, pick your pants up. So I'm sure it was something related to that. Yeah. That that would be sexual harassment, Kevin. Yeah, I know. I know that now. <laughs> I think I like kick him in his fucking. Well, it doesn't matter because he got what he deserves because he got caught. Really? Doing, yeah, he got caught touching some kid and he's fucking. I don't know if he's gone or what. But yeah. That's epiphany number two. Don't motherfuckers need to stop touching kids. <laughs> like we say all the time, don't fuck them kids. Don't fuck, fuck kids. them kids. God. But yeah. E. <laughs> oh, <sure>. Interesting <laughs> family tree, my friend. You know what's weird? I always wanted to fly. 
<laughs> Me too. Honestly, where would you fly to? Anywhere. Just in the, like I would. I always envision once the sun is starting to set, really, really, really and I thick all clouds. Up. <laughs> yeah, really like, once the clouds. sun is starting to set, we all look up. <laughs> you guys are there. You guys are envisioning it. Cool. <laughs> once the sun starts to set, there's really, really thick clouds, and you know, like beautiful sunsets when it starts to be like red, yellow, pink, yeah. purple, just flying into that, in and out of clouds, just up and down. Just, right, that's what I. Have. I like how all three of us were looking. <laughs> Hell yeah, we were there. Like, oh, you were there. No, you were flying like through the clouds. Cartoon, and they're like, like imagine and the bubble goes. It's easier to envision when we got a ring light as our sun. Yeah, yeah. and then the Here's like little like right this as the clouds and shit. That's fucking beautiful. Oh yeah, dude. I feel like I'm fucking yeah, Narnia. What about you guys? Where would you guys fly? If you could fly. What? What would you fly? like? What would you do? If you could fly? Where, fly? where or? What? My back kind of hurts. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I'd fly to the chiropractor. I would, I would fly to the chiropractor. <laughs> Dude, I'd fly and like hang myself upside down and stretch my spine out. That would be great. Bang. I think right now I would probably fly to like somewhere with like really big mountains and go snowboarding. You guys want to know something really fucked up that I remember the other day in the car? Yes. Um, <laughs> speaking of childhood incidences, <laughs> I think I was like seven or eight. And at the time, I was getting very horribly, horribly bullied at school. Like, terrible, beat up all the time. Couldn't go a day without getting bullied. It was terrible. And I forget what fucking song I used to listen to, but I used to listen to the song. And it was embarrassing the breakaway the song breakaway and i would just be like what if i just opened up my window and flew and never came back like just flew out the window and like thinking about it now that was probably me being suicidal at like seven but in a small town staring out your window yes <laughs> <laughs> no but i would seriously be like what if i just jumped out the window flew away and never came back can you imagine she yeah, just, you just jumped out, just out the window and flew out the window <laughs> Oh my but god. Like, thinking about it now, that was probably. My little girl fell out the window. I was so fucking depressed and had absolutely oh. no outlet that yeah. I was like. And I was seven, so it was probably me just like being really fucking suicidal at seven. But she I bet did. you would have took whatever it takes till you touched the sky. Oh yeah. I'm like, that's like not just a joke, break guys. Away. Like, that's this thing Kids that are like, magical, bro. I felt the magic. I felt the magic when I was a kid. Also, you could as, totally fly if you wanted to. As a child, um, <laughs> during my vampire era, when I, from the ages of like four, no, nah, not four, maybe like six to like eight, I convinced every myself and told everybody around me that I was a vampire and that I could fly at night. And I taught myself how to lucid dream so that I could fly around my room like a vampire. <laughs> in my dreams, but like be aware of it, and I'd be like, oh my god, that's just me transforming into a vampire every night. <laughs> oh my god, hanging upside down. What are you doing? I'm a bat! Once my brother tried to fly at the park by jump- he wanted- he watched Batman earlier in the day. <clears throat> I think you guys can see where this is going. We were at the playground, and he like went up on this thing, it wasn't that high, it was like maybe three feet off the ground, but he just belly flopped off of it and broke his ribs, and my mom was like, why the hell did you do that? And he was like, I thought I could fly like Batman. Now, first of all, Batman can't fly. So he can, right. <laughs> he can, <laughs> he can glide, but he's not going to fly. Yeah. Like, I don't With know why style. you're belly flopping off of this thing that's like three feet off the ground and thinking that that's gonna work. I was really pissed when I was a kid when all of my webs that I tried to buy were silly string. And like not actual yeah. webs. Oh, I was pissed when I let a spider bite me and it didn't turn into Spider-Man. Well, that's because you got bit by the wrong spider. It was, bro, it was the right spider though, bro. Oh, it was, no, listen, it was like every fucking color. I can tell you right now. It was like a rainbow spider. spider. And it was gorgeous. Yeah, well, the spider that bit Spider-Man was the colors of Spider-Man suit, which is red and blue. Yeah, well... I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it just made me gay. <laughs> well, so there's yeah, three gay people not. in the room. Not just. <laughs> I mean, we know how you feel about moves from Step Up. So. so just walking up to the fucking spider, like, can you please bite me? Can you bite me? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why you had a moose from Step Up era. Maybe. 
You got bit by the spider, you get a little bit gay. Oh, that was it. I just started busting out moves right after that. <laughs> Obsession no, I, I believe the words you said while we were watching it was, wow, you know, I just love a man who can dance like that, you know? <laughs> I, don't, I don't care if I'm straight. I love a man who can dance like that. I always, you know? And I backed that again. Love it. <laughs> He is also a man that can dance. Hey, you know what, look, Not like I that. call myself oh. a lover, right? It don't matter, because when I was about like four or five, there was a pizza guy came to my house, dropped the pizza off, my dad paid him, walked out the door, closed the door, I was like, wow, that guy was really cute. <laughs> and my mom was like, you can say he's handsome. So there's like, three okay. gay people in this room, is what I'm hearing. It's not just two of us, there's three of us now. Hey, whatever. I'll just never Sorry, take in yet, it's all I know. Now. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I just need to get the buzz fighter. Oh, so you can be gay like Kevin? It's <laughs> rainbow. Rainbow spider. I'll go with mild, but I don't, yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't want to be fully. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're dating me. Yeah. I would not I would not. I would not like to break up because you got bit by a gay spider. <laughs> That would be like kind of really shitty. Sorry, honey. <laughs> I'm yes, going so over Dean. Ghost hand. Whoa. <laughs> it's like the fucking. What's his name? That was weird. <laughs> I can think of his name from Adam Stern. Dane? Excuse me. As a sound effects guy for a second. You know what we should do after the podcast? What? Watch more Star Wars? No, I need a drink. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure if you take a straw to the carpet, there's enough liquid. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what? <clears throat> so I will be going to the Krausers or something. You're going to Krausers? Krausers I don't closed, I think. Oh, oh yeah. it's too late. Yeah, it is. You can go to Exxon, but Exxon is creepy. That's hard well, to no, get I to. Well, no, I haven't seen that guy in a little bit. That's hard to get to from here and back. No, it's not. I, it's easy to get to, it's not as easy to get back. Is yeah, it? you need to take the same it's route. the next exit, right? Uh, no, you just kind of got to be a little illegal. Oh, Not much, but just the same way you get in to that little side cutoff, mm -hmm. you just go back. Mm -hmm. it like, it, you know, it, there's a split. Like, you're allowed to go down that hill. It's just, you know, if anybody's coming up, it could be a little tricky. I'm not going back down But there's enough space even for them to pass. You oh. realize, no, there's an exit right after exit. No, no I know, but that's like, the hole in the wall. that's like the long way. No, because, yeah. no, because you fucking get to exit, right? Mm -hmm. And then as soon as you pull out, when you're done at Exxon, you just go straight to the exit, which is to like the left. 20 feet away, to the right. No, that one. Yeah, that Oh, well, yeah, no, right. Okay, so what I'm learning oh, yeah. is no, that, that the left and the right problem that the children I teach have ex extends into adulthood, Kevin. Yes, it does. What? I do it. What did you What did you say? I do it. You didn't know that something that was on the right side was act or on the whatever. One side was not the other. I still don't okay, know which way first of all, face, put the fucking the guns other. down. Because okay. I was talking about the same Letters. way you get there. For you, Kapow. this is L. Oh, yes, that is an L. So when you hold your hands like this, yeah. left, not left. <laughs> Proud of you. That's all right. No, if only it's I can not. mentally remember that, and I don't have to physically do the left right when people say directions. I can barely <clears throat> count to ten. You want me to know what left and right is? If you can barely count to ten. No, you wrong. know, the only thing that fucks me up is like, not like w with left and right necessarily, but for instance, like those knobs. On my fucking oh, when it says turn left or turn right. No, like what? I never know if it means like on my fucking ring light. Yeah. How they're not like this. You have to turn them up or down. Like you know what I mean. Yeah. But you see how they're facing. You're not necessarily <coughs> turning them left. Or, I mean, I guess you are. I'm you fucking are. Stupid. Yeah, I guess I'm just stupid. 
for dyslexic. Oh, yeah. I've said my name so many times that I forgot who I was. You've said that before. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure if I told you that or not. That's scary. Yeah. That wouldn't be fun. Yeah, no, not really. I wouldn't like that. That's what I get reminded of when I think of dyslexia. You no, know you should do to that fucking horse face gun person. <laughs> Say their name over and over again until they forget it and then I'll freak out and just leave. <laughs> and they won't know who they are. That's just kidnap idea. them and then leave them in a desert and repeat their name over and over and over again. Come on. That way when somebody's like, what's your name, honey? I don't know. I don't know anymore. It doesn't sound real. Do you remember it? I don't know. When you write a word too many times and it stops looking like that word. Yeah. You're like, I don't know if that then this crazy. is correct anymore. Yeah. Or yeah. words like, I can't spell exercise. I've never spelled exercise correct on the first try ever. Or like if you spell a word completely perfect and you look at it like That's wrong. That has to be wrong, right. yeah. That's incorrect. Guys, we successfully did it. I forgot to take the fucking smoke detector out. We smoked. It didn't go off. Nice. Wow. I'm so surprised about that. <clears throat> Good shit. Other than the kitchen in Maybe the it's apartment. I'm censoring you. I don't Why want are people you to see you. Me? I don't want people to see you. Why? Because we have makeup on for the first time all week. Don't be like, whoa. And then try and steal you from me. Uh. And my game isn't that good. I'm not like. Yeah, I like your shoes. Great. What? Your shoes are very cool. My shoes? Uh, no, I'm referencing what you said to me. Oh. They were pretty cool shoes. It's a G move. Did you ever All take right? a picture of them the other day? Drake and Josh. Teaches a growing man a lot. So you put them in here? Yeah. Drake and Josh teaches people everything. Mm -hmm. I know. Starts with the shoes. Go watch some Drake and Josh. We do episodes every week. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, yeah, stay rotch, stay safe, and uh. Don't any bullshit. Don't come in the cell.